Hey guys, welcome. This is a general reading for the collective of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. And welcome cross watchers and for those of you who are new to the channel. Hello, hello. All right, so as I record this, the moon is in Scorpio. Don't forget we are in the beautiful water trine, grand water trine between Venus, Mars, and Saturn. Um, so we could be in the fields that began on the fourth we'll go through the eighth so if you're in the fields if you're feeling pretty emotional makes sense okay um so be gentle with yourself and others all right i'm going to pull from gateway of light activation to well activate the reading let's see what message comes through for you today Star being healing codes. Yes, important information. Wounds are healed and recharging. Yeah, deep breaths. Can you see that star being? Almost looks like Oz, the great and powerful Oz. Um, yes, so healing codes coming through. We, wounds being healed. Take some time to recharge there, Taurus or whoever you are watching remember this is a general reading not a private reading so it may not resonate for everyone take what speaks to you leave the rest it can come through reversed meaning i could be speaking to a cross watcher all right so i'm going to pull the main spread give you my general impressions and we will get the details from the clarifiers well hello taurus king of pentacles what is crossing us something weighing very heavily maybe that needs to be released but we're struggling to in um, the root of the situation is yeah what do we want <laughs> what path are we choosing here and in the past knight of pentacles maybe an offer that didn't come in uh, maybe things moving very slowly in our conscious awareness there it is there's the offer ace of pentacles or maybe a new beginning um but it feels to me like this king of pentacles and an offer that you've been waiting for near future maybe some disappointment or just feeling a little disillusioned on some level so let's get some clarity around this for you I will say that I do offer uh, private readings, so there is a link below every video. Just scroll a little bit, and it will take you to my booking page. Um, right, there's a struggle here because um, waiting for somebody to take some action, maybe. It's like it's built up this energy that's become burdensome. The Knight of Wands moves fast. It acts on in the moment on passion. That justice card would bring a lot of balance, feels more fair, and the world is Saturn. So Saturn is about, you know, closing out difficult cycles so a new cycle can begin. And it feels like the difficult cycle is kind of lingering, um, not letting you have the new beginning, and that's maybe causing some disharmony. All right, in the Two of Wands, the root of the situation, or in your unconscious awareness, We're thinking about the future. We're thinking about the future. Life partnership. What we want and how to get there. Ooh, hermit. Okay, so this is about maybe on some level needing to take a temperature check. Um, because this hermit is coming from the bottom of the deck. So for those of you who are new, I'm tapping into unconscious awareness, something internal, something in the psyche, or playing out behind the scenes. So it may be that our King of Pentacles here, if it's not your own energy, is a little off the grid, maybe a little hard to pin down, making themselves, you know, um, unapproachable. On this topic of the future, what do you want? What do you see? Are we moving toward that? Are we not moving toward that? And it becomes burdensome. All right, so that could be it. But the hermit is also about um, our own self-awareness and introspection and really kind of going within to sort of um, make sure we understand our own motivations, right? Why is it that we're focused on something that someone else isn't? So better to understand your own motivations first before we keep dogging the same topic over and over again. Knight of Pentacles in the past. Oh, 
queen of swords. Okay, so maybe you have had the conversation. Possible. I might take that back. There she is, straight shooter. Um, queen of pentacles, right? So the queen of pentacles to the king, it is talking about feminine, feminine archetype of a life partner. I'm looking at the future. Are, you know, why are things moving so slow? And then that two of swords, I might have to make a decision here. The two of swords can also be a crossroads moment. And you may have reached that moment where you sort of had to ask the question, are we moving toward that? Are we moving slowly and deliberately or are we just not moving? And because your focus is on this either up leveling of the connection and offer, like it's even could be a put a ring on it kind of a moment here, but you're looking for some sort of gesture that is pointing toward the path forward toward the future of life partnership in this connection. Let me specify that. So if that's not where you're at, this might not be your reading. That's okay. I'll get you next time. Um, in your conscious awareness, Ace of Pentacles. Yes. Ooh. So you're curious about it, Page of Swords, because you're meeting with some resistance and maybe even defensiveness, and then it's causing you to kind of get a little anxious, a little worried, maybe preoccupied with thoughts that keep you up at night. So you don't really have a clue where this person stands necessarily because you're just getting pushed back or put off, right? Um, so let's see in the near future, the Four of Cups. What did I say? So um, feeling sort of disenchanted is what I'm going to stick with because this is the whole ball game. Double hit of Taurus here. Looking at commitment, the future, marriage, themes around that. I know it's 2024. Not everyone wants to get married, but themes around life partnership, vows, the, the, the responsibility to each other. Um, that kind of a commitment at the very least and underneath the eight of pentacles it's like it's going to take some work maybe some convincing because this person doesn't seem to be really picking up what you're laying down and that may be disappointing i know so what i want to do here is let you know that in the extended we're going to look at it from this king of pentacles point of view and if you're feeling like, yeah, I don't get it, I don't understand, I'm kind of in the dark here, the extended could help. So the links are below for that. And there, the first link, you'll see option number one is a monthly renewal. The second option is the one and done just for this reading. And the third option is the all access pass. And that's how you get all the extendeds I ever do. And access from all the way from the back till now. So meaning everything I've ever done. and I'm doing now. All right, just want to make sure you know that that's available. So those links are below. Um, but before I give you the astrology here, if you're like, oh wow, she nailed it, and you haven't yet done so, please do subscribe below. That's the thing we're doing here. That's the energetic exchange. It means so much to me when I see the subscriber count go up. I come in here every day and I give you what I got, or almost every day. Um, like literally, I only took two days off the channel last month. Yeah, uh, think about that. I work here. I like doing what I do and I don't have a team. It is just me. I do everything on the front end and everything on the back end. And I am not complaining one bit, but it's here to let you know that I'm serious about what I do. So please do subscribe. That is my ask. I almost forgot to do the astrology. I got so excited. Yes, King of Pentacles comes out twice. That is Taurus, associated with sign of Taurus. We have the Knight of Wands, Sagittarian energy. Libra here in our justice card. We're in Libra season. Um, the world is Saturn, Aquarius, and Capricorn. Virgo in our hermit. Knight of Pentacles, more Virgo. Queen of Swords, Libra. Queen of Pentacles, some Capricorn, right? Ruled by Saturn. We've got the Page of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We have more Taurus in the um, Hierophant and again in the Knight, in the King of Pentacles. And don't forget your star healing code, uh, star being healing code, important information coming through here 
wounds are healed and recharging. And the extended will look deeper into how this King of Pentacles is assessing the relationship, how they feel about you, what their intentions are. Let's go get it. Bye for now.